If you haven't already installed your Avid Studio software, you'll want to install the software from the installation window. This is where you'll install the main application, the red giant effects, and all bonus content. An important note is that there will be no transfer of these elements from older versions of Pinnacle Studio if you are a previous Pinnacle Studio user. First, let's get familiar with the sections of the Central Manager layout. The Avid Studio principle of editing consists of five sections. Import, Library, Movie, Disk, and Export. The beauty of this style of movie creation is that all workflows or modules can be accessed anytime. Import. This is the place for bringing in or importing all your media, no matter where you are in the application. You can bring in your media elements in from everywhere. It doesn't matter if it is a camcorder, camera flash stick, or hard drive. Library. This tab is where you organize all your imported media, video, photos, and audio in the ways that make sense to you so you can find them anytime. Creative elements such as titles or DVD menus can also be accessed here. Movie. This tab is where you start to make your movie. You will spend much of your time in this area. All of your creative tools can be found here for dynamic video creations. A more compact version of the library in the movie editor also offers you direct access to all your media files and creative elements. Finding your assets has never been easier. Disk. If you want menus on your DVD or Blu-ray discs, this is the place to create your menus and the navigation on your disk. Export. No matter where you are in Studio, press the Export tab to send your media anywhere you choose. Share your videos on YouTube, burn Blu-ray discs, or simply export to any common file format. Let's go back to the Library tab. Remember that the library contains all your media, video, photos, and music. Plus, it's also the place where you can find all your creative elements, such as transitions, montage themes, titles, DVD menus, and sound effects. Any of these movie elements can be dragged from here to the timeline to create a movie. This is the timeline. It begins on the far left and runs to the right. The play bar position indicates the current part of the movie that you are viewing in the video player. This is the video player window. You will use the video player window for viewing your movie as you create it, but also for previewing content in the movie library. You can press the play button or the space bar to start the playback of your movie. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class On Demand's Complete Training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.